project now, which is a weird, pointless object, I believe. I don't think it has actual usage to it, but from learning lesson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with you making a box, the outer box, and then I'll re start removing these things and making holes and stuff to it. So I go to models. No, 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 sorry, I go to my new drawing, and what I'm going to do is use my rectangle command. I'm going to click that rectangle. It asks me to specify first corner point right here. I'm going to click anywhere on the screen, usually left bottom corner. So I want to get the exact dimensions, so what I need to type in is D for dimensions at the bottom. D, enter, and it is 5 by 3. It, 5 is, uh, the width comes first and the height comes second, so it's 5 by 3. And now it's asking me to put it on the screen somewhere. So I'll put it here. Zoom into it. I'm just going to actually explode it because I want it to pieces. Right now it's one polyline. I'm going to explode it. Over here, use an explode command. Or you can go to modify explode. Or you can go to over here, modify explode. Okay, I have this object. Uh, what I'm going to do next is let's make the holes. The holes going to be easy. Radi diameter is a quarter, and they're three quarters off. Okay, so I'm going to draw it actually in this corner here. I have my snap on. I snapped it on. Type in D for diameter and type in 0.25 for a quarter. So I have that size. Now I know it's three quarters inches down. So I'm going to use my move command. Select move, enter, move down. See right now I don't have ortho on, so it could be going in sideways. So I have to make sure I turn it on. That's going perfectly straight down at 90 degrees. We type in three quarters or 0.75. And I can go back to see how far it is from here. 13 sixteenths. Ha. Huh. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually copy it over. 13 sixteenths. And I did that for a reason. That way I know where I can start off for, from. To here is 3 sixteenths. So I can do an easy step of selecting this circle here. Going to copy. And I'm going to copy it from the center of this circle to the center of this circle, which is exactly 13 sixteenths. I'm going to do it again, and again, and again. Delete my original one, like so, and I have these five holes. That's one step of the project. Next, we'll actually do this here. Here, they're showing exactly where the circle is located. It's three-eighths from here. But it doesn't tell you. Oh, it does tell you. And wait. So right here, I'm looking. It tells you where this one is, where this one is, where this one is. But it doesn't tell you how far from the wall over here. He said, so. He said on the other side it was three eighths. Oh. So we're missing a dimension. And he was wrong. Oh no! Wait, maybe he's right. Yeah, he was right. Darn. All right. So it's 3 eighths and 3 eighths is to the center of our circle, which the radius is half inch. This is a radius. I, mean? have, I don't know why they have diameter and radius. You should pick one and stick with it. That's confusing. All right, so I'm going to actually draw that circle at that corner right now. The radius is 0.5, and it's located, move 3 eighths to the side, making sure my ortho is on. And I'm going to move it again, up 3 eighths. Alright, so it's perfectly there. Now we know our trim command, so we're going to use it. We're going to select trim. We're going to select the whole object here. And click enter, because it's asking if you want to select any more objects. Click enter, and I'm going to start trimming these things here in the circle. I see, again, this circle, that triangle, it has nothing to trim to, so I'm stuck with deleting it. So I click enter, get out of the command, select that triangle, and delete it. That's where it happens. Now, next step, that's that hole. Uh, I can draw this circle here. Actually, I'll just do that. It's one and a quarter by one and an eighth off. Oh, I should have done it before I did this. 
that's okay. So I'm going to redraw these lines over here, so as a reference, so I know where the corner is. I'm going to draw that circle. That circle over here is 5 eighths, so diameter is diameter 5 eighths. D, enter, 5 eighths. It, I'm going to select it. I'm going to move it up. It goes up, what is it? One and a quarter, so 1.25. And oops, it goes across. I don't think you guys got that dimension. You might have to write that down. One and one eighth in your drawings. All right, so I move that into. I'm using M enter or M space. It's a shortcut for move. Yeah. So either you can use over here move, or you can type in M enter or space. Uh, this right here. Yeah. One point one two five. All right. Place that. Perfect. Now I can. Now I need to find out where the center of these slots are. So it's actually from the center of a circle, or I can do 3 eighths and plus 2 and 3 eighths, which is 6 eighths, which is 1 half. But I won't do that. I'm just going to do it from where it shows me. So I'm going to delete these reference. Draw a line from the center of the circle. I get the center of the circle. If I can't find it, like right now I can't get it, even if with this I can't get the center, what you want to do is move around the circle and that will pop up the marker. At that point, you will be able to snap onto it, make yourself a line. So that's a reference line again. And I'm going to copy this line 2 and 3 eighths to get to the center of this right here. Copy 2.375. That. And you might as well just copy it and make for the next slot 1 and a half. So select the copy 1.5. Delete that, don't need that anymore. I have the center points of these slots, which is great. Now I need to draw a circle where they're located. This one's one inch and a radius of three eighths. So I have to draw it from here, not from the end over here. I'm going to make sure I draw it from the right there, the intersection. I draw one up one inch, so it's right here. Now I'm going to do this one too, make it easier since I'm back I'm in the line command at the same time. And this one's a 1.25. Now these reference lines I don't need anymore. Delete them. Not something that I know where the circles are going. Just don't remember the sizes. All right, so nine, radius three eighths. So I draw a circle. Select that endpoint. R for radius three eighths. And this other one was a quarter. So I start radius one quarter one fourth. Got that? I can delete these lines. I no longer need those. I make sure my polar uh, OSNAP setting has quadrant on. It does. Great. I will go to my line command. And I'm going to select these quadrants. Like so. Quadrants. Script. Pull with the polar on. And perpendicular snap to the wall here. And these two. And I use my trim command. I select the whole entire object. Right click or space. And then trim what I don't need. And enter. I just finished this object. I didn't put the dimensions in. I hope you guys can do that. If not, stay with me and I will totally teach you how to do that.